Hello, hey, it's Mr. Newbold again with uh, Emergency Savings Fund. And this is uh, something that saved me so much stress and hassle. I know it's going to save you a lot of stress and hassle too. Stress and hassle comes from like when you get in a car accident and then you need like lots of money to pay the insurance company or pay the person. So you don't think it'll happen to you? My wife's never had an accident uh, 20 plus years. And then we moved here and someone parked at like the bottom of their of our driveway. And after she did that, let me put you on the Moodle so you can kind of see what's going on there. But yeah, not nearly as bad as the tree there you can see on your desktop. But uh, she just backed out and we're rushing out and taking our daughter to school. And the radio was really loud, left on from last time. And so she didn't hear the honking. The person didn't move. They're just waiting at the bottom of the driveway for their child to come out. <laughs> just ran right into their car. And so we had to come up with $900, and luckily we had saved that over months and months and months, and then we had it when we needed it. So this is a great chapter, and uh, I won't take too much time because it's pretty short, um, but a big thing you need to know about is in case you have accidents, thefts, repairs, we've had things in our house that like our sewer backed out, that cost $3,000. So you need to save up, and it's definitely good to save, and especially if you and your wife can work, then you can both save up. Um, if not, just save a little bit as, as much as you can. You need to put it in a certain place that's easy to get access to. Like we have through Chase as our banking, but then like the credit union is where we keep like our savings. So we don't really have an ATM card with them. We can go in and withdraw it when we need to. So that's what it means by the word liquid. Your money needs to be liquid, right? It's easy to pour, easy to get out. And so that'll be on your homework assignment for this uh, assignment. And uh, so then also, I was going to share with you, oh yeah, so also besides being liquid and you need to have the money you know, accessible and easy to go, um, you can also have savings just for um, things that you're saving up for, right? And if you build enough emergency savings, then once you start going over, maybe you can save for other things. And an example is something I just bought the other day, yesterday. This is a HP, very nice, quad-core laptop. It only cost me $225. So you got to also shop smart, right? And so the reason why it didn't cost me very much is because I bought it off KSL. So maybe when you want to buy something as well, you're like, oh, but I need to save in my emergency savings. Well, don't buy it brand new, right? Get it off KSL, make sure it works, check it all out really good, which I did. And then um, this was going to cost, I think, four or five years ago, it was like eight or nine hundred dollars. And um, so, you know, now it probably cost about three hundred fifty, four hundred dollars, like my daughter's laptop. We're having trouble with. Anyways, so we bought this one, and um, it's a hundred and fifty, hundred sixty less. I got it for. They asked for two fifty. I bargained down to two twenty five. So now if I had planned on buying a laptop for $300, $400, I could stash that away in my emergency savings, right? Because I only bought this for $225. Okay, and I'll even be able to use this cool device to maybe make some videos now. So then maybe you can see different parts of my house. That would be cool. So definitely emergency savings is very important. And a key guy that you're going to be listening to in this homework assignment is Dave Ramsey. He's awesome. He really helps you out with his different steps. Um, but first, when you click to the next, you can see on the desktop, when you click to the next spot there, you're going to go here, so click on that. You can even push Control click That'll bring it up. This talks about your emergency saving funds. We're going to just ask you some questions in your homework. If you want to pause the video, go back and look at the homework, you can come back. But maybe you just finish with me first, and then you're done with the video. So basically, um, it's... Uh, Here's an answer right here. So it's devastating when I see how many families have little or no savings protecting them from misfortune. Is something bad going to happen to you? Accidents? Theft? Anything like that? Yeah, it's going to happen. Um, my car, the radiator bust. So I had to go ahead and, and get that fixed. It's going to cost maybe ooh, five, six hundred dollars. I bought the part for one hundred and ten. I YouTubed it. What? Yeah. A teacher trying to be automotive. That's crazy. Yeah, I YouTubed it and watched them how they did and took the old radiator out, put the fan back on, put the new radiator in. Whammo! Saved myself like $400 just like that. But I still had to have 150 in savings for the part. So it looks like here, just how bad is it? It says here that 
of us have less than one month's savings in our emergency savings. Okay, so worse yet, 28% of respondents had less than two weeks' worth of expenses and savings. 28% had less than two weeks. They couldn't even make it a couple weeks. They're dead in the water, right? So really make sure you have lots of savings. How much is enough, though? Dave Ramsey says 1G. That's right, $1,000 in savings. Okay. So you want to make sure and go ahead and read through this. It's a really excellent website. It'll, your mind will bring it back as you get older and you really need to focus on savings and emergency savings. A lot of people are stress-free, right? If you have a lot of stress, you gain weight. Even though you're not eating, yeah, you gain weight. Stress makes your body store fat. I don't know why. But, you know, so if you want to stay slim and healthy, you know, don't, don't get stresses on yourself, right? Emergency savings. Um, so Dave Ramsey said, um, he says here, $1,000 in his Baby Steps plans, okay? Start with $1,000, $500 if you make $20,000 or less, so you can go down to $500 if you're not making too much, okay? Um, so you want to build a permanent savings cushion of three to six months after that. It's like the next, that's the full strength emergency fund that you want to eventually get over to. Okay, so go ahead and read through that whole website here. These are really cool because it talks about some different things that have happened to people and what's happened to them. You know, like for instance, it says here, um, why bother to become a better saver? Because it boosts, because boosting your saving prowess can have a huge emotional payoff. Like I was saying, nine out of ten savers say they're happy. They're happy in their lives, right? Wouldn't you like to be happy? Me too. So we'll go back here and you'll finish that and you'll be some answers in there to your homework assignment on that page. And here's the homework assignment. Part of it, I want to make sure you know where this is. So watch carefully on the desktop. It says, watch the Dave Ramsey's video under resource, the emergency fund money makeover. Okay, explain his, and his, explain his baby steps to building an emergency plan. So there's several steps. I had a couple students miss out. They didn't watch the full video. They got marked points off. So make sure you watch the full Dave Ramsey video and even take notes if you want. Or it even says here, explain his baby steps. So just write those out and then type them in there. Okay, so where is it at? Look right there where it says resource. Right now, mine says add resource. Um, but if I go to the preview mode, that's your view of Moodle. Don't worry, we're almost done with this video. It'll be done in a second. Um, so then you go to, uh, now it's on your view. This is what you see, right? So you click on resources right there, that resources tab button. Okay, resources. That'll come up with the Dave Ramsey's video, emergency fund money makeover. Okay. So I know it might be a little slow, hang in there for it to load. Here it is, Dave Ramsey's Emergency Fund Makeover 2.3.2. And so what you're going to do then is you're going to listen to this. Oh, cool, it's on YouTube. You'll be able to listen. It's only 2 minutes, 12 seconds. Listen to the whole thing. And it's going to tell you all the different baby steps and things like that. I'll just put in for a second so you can hear. Oh, I don't think I have my sound on. But Dave Ramsey's excellent. 12 to 18 months, maybe go. 24 months, some of you a little bit longer, some of you a little bit faster. He's a cool guy. And that's paying off all your debt except your house really using cool the debt snowball, listening to that smallest to largest, working them off in that order. Okay, so we're going to pause that there. I'll go back and end this video now. But go ahead and make sure that you listen to that, okay? And then go back here to your green, to your homework assignment right there. You can click on that green link. That's an easy way to get to it now. You'll be able to add to your submission here. Um, any employer's deposits, um, what could you do to tell the bank? Something about to automatic deposit, maybe. Um, and then a bad place. Oh, why is it bad to keep it? Anyways, so I'll let you go ahead and finish that assignment, and we'll see you next time for the next uh, section. So very nice talking with you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hang in there. Bye.